Many people assume there are many peaceful verses in the Quran, and indeed there are several peaceful verses in the Quran. One notable passage in joining tolerance is Surah 109, which says in its entirety, Say, O disbelievers, I do not worship what you worship, nor do you worship what I worship, and I shall not worship what you worship, nor will you worship what I worship. To you is your religion, and to me is my religion. Other verses add to this seeming indifference the contention that Allah will ultimately judge the unbelievers and cast them into hell. Thus, Allah tells Muhammad not to waste his time arguing with those who reject his message, but to leave them in peace until that terrible day. So the Quran says, so leave them alone until they encounter that day of theirs on which they will swoon. Above all, no Muslim should forcibly convert an unbeliever. And the famous passage of the Quran says, let there be no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Whoever rejects evil and believes in Allah has grasped the most trustworthy handhold that never breaks, and Allah hears and knows all things. Following this celebrated verse comes another threat of hell. Quran says, Allah is the protector of those who have faith. From the depths of darkness, he will lead them forth into light. Of those who reject faith, the patrons are the evil ones. From light, they will lead them forth into depths of darkness. They will be companions of the fire to dwell therein. Since Jews and Christians, called the people of the book in the Quran, will face exactly that dreadful judgment, Allah admonishes his prophet not to argue with them. Instead, he is to emphasize that he believes in the same God they do. And so the Quran says, do not dispute with the people of the book, except with better means, unless it be with those of them who inflict wrong. But say, we believe in the revelation which has come down to us and in that which has come down to you. Our Allah and your Allah is one and it is to him we bow. And then, of course, there's one of the most often quoted verses of the Quran, which goes like this. Because of that, we decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, unless for a soul or for corruption in the land, it is as if he had slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he had saved mankind entirely. And our messengers had certainly come to them with clear proofs. Then indeed, many of them after that throughout the land were transgressors. Now, there's less to this than Western leaders and Islamic apologists claim. First, it's not a general prohibition of killing. There are big exceptions for those who kill for a soul or for corruption in the land. Second, this is not a general command, but one only for the children of Israel. Third, many of them after that were transgressors, it says. So all that it's really saying is that Allah gave a command to the children of Israel and they transgressed against it. Nor do most of the people who mention that verse mentioned that it's followed by verse 533, which specifies the punishment for the corruption and transgressions of the children of Israel. That verse goes like this. Indeed, the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive upon the earth corruption is none that they be killed or crucified or that their hands and feet be cut off from opposite sides or that they be exiled from the land. That is for them a disgrace in this world and for them in the hereafter a great punishment. But what about the other passages, enjoining tolerance and patience with unbelievers? Many traditional Islamic theologians and Quran commentators actually argue that violent material, such as the verse of the sword, which is the celebrated command to slay the idolaters wherever you find them, actually abrogates more relatively tolerant material. Now this means that whatever the Quran teaches about peace with unbelievers is superseded and overridden by passages enjoining violence. And that doctrine of abrogation is also based on the Quran itself. For more information about this, go to this website.